Hello everyone. So in three days, we leave for Louis Tomlinson. That's a lie. In two days, we leave for Louis Tomlinson. In three, we see him. And Allery and I were wanting to vlog it. And so I decided that I'm gonna vlog like the days leading up to it and the day of and all that jazz. Because I honestly don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film while we're camping and at the show or anything like that because I don't want my phone to die. So I'm gonna make it like a whole, a whole journey. Here's our tentative schedule for the week. Today, I'm going to try and pack a backpack to have in the tent with me while we camp. Tomorrow I can pack like my other backpack that will have like everything else in it. Although I feel like I'm probably just gonna bring my backpack that's gonna have everything in it to camping anyway, just to be safe. On Wednesday at like 2.30, we're gonna get to Allery's school and then we're gonna pick her up at like three whenever school gets out. From Sacramento to Oakland, it usually only takes about like an hour and a half to get there. But since we're going right during rush hour, it's probably gonna take a lot more. So we're assuming we're gonna get to the venue at around six. So we're gonna drive past the venue on our way to the hotel. If there are people camping outside or across the street from the venue, and you, Allery and I are gonna jump out with our tent, our sleeping bags, our backpacks, etc. And my mom is gonna go check us into the hotel. If no one's camping out, we're gonna go to the hotel, get checked in, and then go back to the venue and get in line. Most likely people will already be in line though, so. So then we're camping out through Wednesday night into Thursday day, and then doors open at like six or something like that on Thursday. Hopefully we're barricade, and if we're not barricade, we'll be really close because we're getting there at 6 p.m. the day before. So then we'll see Louie, and then we're gonna go wait out back by the tour buses afterwards, cause he goes out there, so duh. And then we'll go to sleep and then we'll go home. But I'm going to vlog everything that I put into the backpack and all that just to kind of lengthen the vlog. So let's go with Louie week. So I have the packing list on my computer and we're gonna go get the things that I need for it. I need to find basically as many portable charges as I can and charge all of them because I don't know how long my phone's gonna stay charged because it usually doesn't stay charged for very long and we're gonna be out there for over 24 hours. We may be going back and forth from the hotel to the tent just to make sure that these stay charged and keeping them charged. The hotel is only like 0.4 miles away or something. We've like lost portable chargers so many times that we have so many because we just kept losing them. So I've got this one. I took this one to Six Flags about a year ago. I've got this one, which I took to Love on Tour. And then this one, which my friend took to Love on Tour, but they accidentally left it with me and I've forgotten to give it back for the past four months. So we've got these three. My mom bought two. So we're gonna go find wherever she put those. I went downstairs, but she bought hot hands with it and I'm pretty sure that the hot hands are probably with the portable charger. So, <laughs> kind of weird doing a vlog because I haven't done one in a long time. She bought two packs of 10 of the hot hands. So we've got quite a few and we can like share them if we need to. It's not even gonna be that cold. It's literally gonna be in like the 40s at night and then the 60s in the daytime. But like, we're from California, we're not built for cold. So we have retrieved the other portable chargers. I'm smart, but I'm stupid. We also need to pre-charge all of these and I don't know how long they stay charged like I don't know if it's a bad idea to charge it now if it'll like be uncharged by Wednesday but I also don't know if these are all gonna charge in one day like I don't have enough blocks to charge them all at the same time I have enough cords though no I don't that's a lie we have five portable chargers and then I told Allery to bring one if she can find one this may seem like overkill but my phone does not stay charged for a long time so it's not overkill so Take that, brother. It probably isn't because we have three phones that we need to keep charged anyway, so five probably is enough. Plus two of them are like really tiny, like they barely have anything in them. They'll charge like half of a phone, so. So we've got the portable chargers. We've got the hot hands. I am not on my period this week, but in case of any who may be, I'm going to bring stuff for them because I am a kind and considerate being. I got two of everything. I just think that it's important to be prepared, so I'm just being prepared for everyone just in case. I also am gonna need a blanket. I have so many blanket options. I could just go with like the thick purple one that I have or anything like that, but I feel like I need my One Direction blanket. The only issue is that it's slightly thin, but I think it'll work. I think it's fine. Also, all the sleeping bags that we have are like insanely thick, so I think that it'll be fine. Because during the day, it's gonna be like, what, 60s? I'm not gonna need a thick, sleeping bag and a thick blanket. Is my phone falling? Falling again. I have to charge my AirPods, which are in my purse, so I need to get those out and I need to, where are they? <gasps> They're fake AirPods. Real AirPods are really expensive, but they work. I use them at work all the time. They've been holding this one single charge for like two months. Granted, I only wear them for like, 
20, 30 minutes at a time, but they're at 26% now. So I need to charge them to make sure that they're charged. I probably won't be using them that much realistically, but maybe when I'm sleeping or something, I don't know. I don't really have any plans to wear makeup in between the next two days, but I have this giant makeup bag and I know that I'm not gonna use half of the makeup that's in here for my makeup on Thursday. So I'm gonna like divide it up because it really annoys me having to search through all my stuff and I don't feel like it. So we're gonna put all the stuff that I'm leaving at home in this Ziploc bag. Obviously there's a lot of things that I'm thankful for when it comes to masks, but one thing that I'm so thankful for when it comes to like my look is that lipstick really doesn't matter all that much because I hate lipstick. And I can't explain why, I just hate the way that it looks on me and it feels and just not a lipstick fan. So masks are very nice because I don't have to do that. Although I will be taking pictures, so you know. Beauty blender, yes. I got this like eyebrow stuff and I absolutely hate it. So we're just gonna like throw that away completely. Blush brush, yes. I have two blushes. This one's a little bit more orange and this one's a little bit more dark, but this one doesn't show up as well. So I think combining them might work. So I'm gonna bring both. This eyeshadow palette, it's a Revolution from Target. Hello. It's got a lot of sparkles in it and a lot of red. So I think I'm gonna bring this. I think I already know the makeup look I'm going for and I don't think I'm gonna be using this, but I might as well bring it. Cause you know, for like accents or whatever. Plus Allery's gonna have me do her makeup. So then I don't know what she's gonna use. So I'm also gonna bring this cause I think that this is what I use to do the makeup look that I'm going to be doing mascara obviously obviously brow gel yes mascara primer yeah i might get falsies i don't know i have a foundation brush but i'm not gonna bring that because i rarely use it this is an elf lip stain that i bought and i really do not like the color so concealer obviously obviously i think i'm gonna bring these two just to like lighten it up a little bit with a little bit i don't know gel eyeliner gel eyeliner and eyeshadow as eyeliner I love it. It makes it easier to kind of get a blended line rather than a like lip gloss, just to add color to my lips, but not red lipstick because that's evil. I have this red lip crayon, but I only bought this to try graphic eyeliner with. So powder brush, obviously. Hey. This is the brush that I use for the gel eyeliner, but I failed to clean it after I used the gel eyeliner. So it's all like crusty and annoying. Clean. I do not use pencils and the only reason that I got this is because when we saw Harry I used this blue eyeliner so lash glue brow filler inner because I have really thick brows but sometimes they need to be filled in in like awkward bald spots that I have and I already have a lip gloss so I'm bringing a washi tape because it makes the lines straight and pretty now brushes I'm gonna get this one because this one's a good thick blending brush and then this one's a little tiny brush but I think it'll be good for like under eyes if I decide to do that and then I'm just gonna bring this one as like a packing brush but I don't think that I need many. So there we go. So at the bottom, I'm putting the blanket because obviously that's what's gonna take up the most room. I'm gonna put the hot hands like behind there and then the makeup. I'm just putting the big things on the bottom and then the small things can like pile on top because there's also other pockets. So I'm gonna like wedge the book. I wedge the book behind the blanket. I'm gonna take this back out and then I'm gonna put my clothes in there first. Nope, we're redoing this. I changed my mind. I'm gonna put the clothes on the bottom because realistically those are the things that I'm gonna get to last. So my clothes are going on the bottom because I'm not even gonna put those on until I get into the hotel, but I wanna have them with me just in case. And we're back. Then the waiver, crimper, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna put the pads and tampons in the front pocket. I'm gonna put the clippies in the middle and the painkillers in the middle. So I just need my hydro, but I'm not gonna pack that cause I'm just gonna like bring it. I need snacks, but we don't really have those right now. I need my Vax card. I need wet wipes. I need the portable charges and I need the AirPods. I forgot I also need this. Okay, so 48 hours until we see Louie. People are commenting on my TikTok where I talked about getting there at like 6 p.m. the night before and they're saying like don't do that oakland is unsafe and it's not allowed at the theater or whatever and i understand that and i respect that and i know and whatever but it's difficult because most areas aren't safe to camp in at night at least where a small theater is like most of them are like in a downtown area that isn't safe and everyone's been camping out for louis shows for like 24 hours before not only that but if there's a group of a ton of other people there I'm not super worried about it. And most venues say that you're not allowed to camp early and then they allow you to camp early. They really don't care. Now, I don't know if that's the same for the Fox Theater, but they're saying that there's like a fan line being made at like 6 a.m., which I'm fine with getting there at 6 a.m., but 
I don't want to risk waiting until 6 a.m. and showing up at like 5.30 or something like that to make sure we're first in line and then being 100 people back. So like if no one's there at 6, we're just going to keep driving back and forth past the theater like every hour to see if anybody has lined up because I don't want to risk not lining up and waiting until 6 in the morning and then not having a place or like being 100 people back because I really want barricade. And maybe this seems like overkill and maybe, I don't know, but it's like really important to me and I don't want to risk it. So we'll like keep driving past it and I guess we'll vlog every time that we drive past. I don't know what's going to happen. Hi. 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 We're about to be on our way to Oakland for yeah. the way. Yay. Okay. So, so update on the camping situation because I said something about this this morning. We're still probably going to drive past it and see, but apparently there's signs like around the entire theater being like we will kick you off if you're here before morning um and there's a fan-made line starting at six supposedly and whatnot so we are probably not going to get there until maybe like 4 a.m i don't know i don't want to risk like being kicked off the premises every hour because that doesn't sound like a lot of fun so we're probably just gonna we're probably gonna get there at like four or something like that so that we're early for the fan-made line but later than we expected Hey vlog! Hey. We're in the hotel now. So basically, um, I th there was no one really there camping when we drove past the venue. Here's a picture of us. But well, we did meet a few people. Yeah, here's a picture of us. We're still probably gonna like go past it just to see every so often, but I feel like we're probably gonna wait until like super late at night, super early in the morning vibe. Yeah, so that's how it's going now. I guess I should update the vlog. We're in the gym because Allery made me go to the gym with her. I walked a mile. She is rowing. I don't know how long she wants us to stay in here. So it is 3 a.m. right now. We just slept for like four hours, something like that. We went to sleep at like 10.30. I woke up on and off throughout Same. said time. We're gonna, in like, 30 minutes or so, I don't know. We're gonna drive past the venue and we're gonna go look. And then if there's no one there right now, then we'll just come back. And I don't think I'm gonna try to sleep again. I think I'm just gonna like stay awake for two hours. And then we'll go back there around like 5.30. So, yeah. Okay, so it is 4.25 a.m. We've driven to the theater. <laughs> no one is camping right now, which I honestly like, they're like, oh my gosh, the area is so unsafe. There's like no homeless people around. So basically, our original plan was that like we were gonna like go back to the hotel and then Uber or whatever, but we're literally just gonna sit here and stay part. It didn't even take half a tank of gas to get here yesterday. Like I don't know. There's a Pokemon on your shoulder. <laughs> There's a Pokemon on my shoulder. But we we were driving we drove past the theater and we drove past the car and we like smiled at them because they like knew what we were here for. We pulled back around and I like waved like like they could I think they their window I don't know, their mirror looks weird. Um, I like waved at them and they went <laughs> and so like and I don't know if they know me or if they were just being like yeah we saw the Louis sticker on the back of your car like we we see you we're here for the same reason but now we're <clears throat> but now <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful <laughs> but now we're just sitting outside the theater and we're just gonna wait for the line to start hi vlog we started the line so true I'm number six Allery's number seven <laughs> Okay, vlog. The line goes really far down, but the line goes hecka far down. But it's been ages different stages come so far from Princess Park. We're walking to Pete's right now in this in this little town, very sketchy town. <laughs> We just came, we went to go get coffee, which we just kind of filmed. And we just came back to the hotel to get Allery's Vax card. And um, I don't know if we ever like actually share, I'm sure we did, but. We are freaking number six, seven, and eight. That's like guaranteed barricade, especially when like we don't have anything that's gonna stop us in the metal detectors or anything. That is guaranteed barricade. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This looks like a nine. It's a six. I promise you. 
We also got a wristband. It says, Libby Tomlinson World Tour Oakland, number six. I'm losing my mind. Obviously camping is like, uh, we didn't really camp because we got there at like 4 a.m. But like we've been, we're, we're staying there for like a lot of hours. And I feel like camping is like an experience that I've always really wanted to have. And we got next to some really fun people. Like, and we've gotten super close to these two people, Ella and Talia. And we went to like go get coffee with them. You saw them in the last clip. Like it's so fun. And we, and we still got like 12 hours. <laughs> for any future Oakland goers, they don't have bathrooms anywhere. They want their citizens to explode. We went into like 10 different shops looking for a place to pee. Starbucks. Yeah, zero. And they, or they were all out of order. Or we tried to go in and they were like, closed! They killed us. No bathrooms. <laughs> oh, sunroom's over there. Oh my God. Okay, so these are the fifths. Hey, hey, we just saw Louie. We saw Sunroom, they came out. We saw Sunroom, and then we turned around and Louie was walking in. He was wearing a green hoodie. Okay, we just got our wristbands. We met Michael, we got pictures with him, and then Allery, we went and we met Matt and Michael. I'll just put it in the video. He was just like, he's like, here's a picture. He was like, he's 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 like,
And then during defenseless, I had my, my sign that said, I'm supposed to be on vocal rest, but you're worth it. And he saw it during defenseless and that's what he did. And then he pointed at me and Allery uh, during, I don't even know what song. Was it Kill My Mind? pointed us during Kill My Mind. And he pointed at Allery during Two of Us. And Charlie Lightning recorded me and Allery during Two of Us. So we might be in a documentary. <laughs> For real, like we just watch it and then it's us like cuddling. <laughs> nothing like, I feel like nothing like iconic happened at the concert. Like it wasn't like the chicken nugget thing was like iconic the first time. And like, like he talked the one time that was pretty much it. He did say that we were the loudest crowd. And he said that like, we took the crown. <laughs> Oh, okay. You take the crown. You take the crown. Loudest. So there was that. People were saying that they watched lives and we sounded like the loudest Princess Park they had heard. Princess Park. Princess Park. Oh, we did home though. Yeah. We sang home when most of the time they say no control. We sang home and then followed by no control. But we tried. We tried to start home and then they just started screaming no control. So we were like. Okay. But yeah, we were the first crowd to sing home. My voice isn't as tired as it was for Harry. I screamed differently, but nothing like super like iconic happened, but he, we were barricades. So that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Because I would not have wanted to be in the middle of that crowd. Mm -mm. Okay. Like I, I was like leaning on the barricade, like oh, yeah. using it for it, support. Honestly, okay. I expected it to be worse, honestly. I don't know about where you were cause you were on like the curve of the barricade. I expected it to be worse. We were like, kind of like, if this is the barricade, we were like this on it. Cause we were also on the sides. So we were all facing Louie. People were like oddly pushing left. So like we were all kind of squished, but there was a lot of room behind me. For a hot minute, there was someone trying to squeeze between me and Allery. So I had to like get right up next mm. to Allery to make sure that that person didn't like squeeze their way in. I don't know if I put it in the vlog, but there was this whole thing with 21 people and I don't even. <laughs> I told the story too many times and then people got mixed up with something because update accounts got the wrong information and then they hated on me for saying what it <laughs> But it was insane. And I don't think like I haven't, cr I cried during two of us and that was it. I don't think that I'm like processing that it happened. Like we saw him with our eyes. He noticed like he's perceived me. Like, you know, he could dream. About I was, that's you what know? I was about to say. <laughs> Because you can't, you can't, you can't dream about someone can't until faces. you can't create a face. So as, as soon as you see someone's face, you can dream about them. So he could dream about me. I don't think he, I would be like main character, but I could just be <laughs> passed in the back. And then he's like, oh yeah, that girl who had the Karen only kills love sign. That was funny. <laughs> Maybe he'll say something about it. He's not going to say, he's not going to, he's not going to tweet. You know that Karen only kills love was funny. He doesn't do that. <laughs> I've known that an artist who does that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like I don't want to end the vlog here, but there's nothing more to say. Bye vlog. Allery, right, say bye vlog. Mom, say bye vlog. Tired. Oh.